Hey, what's up guys? Matt the Butcher here, and welcome to my new series called Salami Gram, where I buy and try products from different USDA processors that specialize in smoked and cured meats. I'll give a short rundown on the story behind the company, how their products are packaged and shipped, what products I bought, and how they taste. Here's the bonus. All the products I feature on this series, you can buy online too, straight to your house. Let's move on with our first feature. The company goes by the name Turchetti's Salumeria, ran by George Turquette and his wife, Amanda. Turchetti's Salumeria is located in Indianapolis, Indiana, and is a one-stop shop for all things meat, meaning it's one part butcher shop, one part restaurant and bar, and one part USDA meat processing plant. When Turchetti's Salumeria opened, they hit the ground running. They were featured in Forbes 30 Under 30 for utilizing local farms and old school whole animal butchery techniques and methods. I personally know George and have visited his beautiful operation. And let me tell you, he is one of the best in the country. Guys, I can't wait any longer. Let's take a look at what just arrived. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to dive into this box here, but let's just take a moment to admire this beautiful quality box here with the Turchetti Salumaria logo and also this custom packaging tape. It's got the TSPS uh, little logo on it, and that stands for Turchetti Salumaria Postal Service. And you see it's got a little box with meat in it. I mean, that is so cool. All right, let's check this out. So the first thing that I see here is a little bit of TSPS swag stickers. Very cool. We got the itemized invoice of all the things that uh, I purchased, which is great. And I can make sure everything is in the box here. It's very thorough. Uh, looking at the first level of insulation here, it's about like an inch and a half thick of uh, insulation that's just going to really protect the products through uh, you know shipping and Turchetti's ships from coast to coast. So this is going to keep it nice and cold He went even one more level of insulation and got bubble wrap Which is freaking awesome and of course I always Am looking for an excuse to buy meaty inspired clothing in this case. It's Turchetti's uh, sweatshirt for the winter Oh man, there is a beautiful variety gift box of salami here. Has a little flyer first thing. It tells you all about their mold and why it's safe to eat. It's got this beautiful ruffle paper for insulation so the salamis don't move around. Beautifully labeled and packaged salamis. We have a uncured pepperoni here, a black pepper salami. A finocchiona with fennel pollen and a classic sweet soprasada. All right, let's see what else is next. They went one step further and have some ice packs in there so that everything stays nice and cool during transportation. Oh boy, all I see is beauty. Steakhouse beef jerky. I am a jerky fanatic and I typically have jerky around the house and uh, I absolutely love it. Can't wait to dive into that. Beef snack sticks. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. We have Induja salami. Spreadable pork belly salami. Look at this. Yeah, so this is actually soft. So what you can, like a regular salami is about 70, 30 or 70% protein and 30% fat. So it gives it that nice hard texture. An induja is those ratios flipped around. So it's about 70% fat and 30% meat. So if you bring this up to room temperature, you'll be able to uh, literally spread it on a piece of toast. All right guys, I can't wait. Let's dive into all these things. Okay, we are back with this absolutely gorgeous spread of Turchetti Salumaria meats. I'm gonna just try one bite of each thing, tell you what I think and we're gonna go from there. Let's take a look at our first product here. This is uncured pepperoni. And take a look how beautifully red that is. 
and nice and dense. That's really how I like my salami. Well, well aged. No case hardening whatsoever. The ingredients here are pork, sea salt, garlic powder, pimenton dolce, which is like sweet paprika, chili flake, uh, celery juice powder, fennel seed, black pepper. Let's dive into this. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. So as I'm chewing, the flavor, it's like uh, first you get like a little bit of a, a cheesy umaminess on the outside. That's kind of what hits my tongue first. And then it, uh, it actually has a pretty good spice to it. Uh, I can actually see that there's chili flake in here right now. And that's what's kind of dominating my mouth. But then there's a subtlety of like black pepper and uh, the little bit of garlic and fennel. This is absolutely incredible. I would love to eat this on a pizza. All right, on to the next one. We have black pepper salami. The beautiful thing about carrying one of these salamis that's just uh, filled with pork, sea salt, black pepper, a little sugar and a little garlic is this is the kind of salami for everybody. Anyone that's like a, a little bit intimidated by charcuterie boards or they have a, a picky palate um, or a kid maybe, this is a really good one to break them in on. So let's, let's try it out here. Oh geez, it smells so good. You can even see like the nice whole black peppercorns in there. All right, let's give it a go. Even though it does have uh, not so many ingredients, the flavor is amazing. It has that nice umami and cheese flavor on the outside. And that is the signs of a very high quality aging room. The, uh, the garlic flavor is absolutely perfect and not too overwhelming. You can really taste the high quality pork in there. And then the black pepper itself just gives a little pop of heat. That is just a really well-made salami right there. I would recommend this for everybody. All right, on to the next one. We have a fennel pollen salami here. The, uh, the ingredients are you know, just black pepper, fennel seed, fennel pollen, pork, of course, salt. Um, so this one should also be a, a little bit more mild. But I just want to take a look at this real quick. Look at the particle definition of the fat there and the meat. That's just signs of a really well-produced salami. The actual blade of the grinder is going to be nice and sharp to be able to cut this. The meat is going to be nice and cold, so when it's going through the grinder there, it comes out beautifully cut like that. No smearing whatsoever. All right, let's try this out. Oh yeah, a perfect balance of fennel, really. Sometimes there's just too much uh, fennel packed in sausage or salami. This has a really nice medium flavor of fennel. It's not overwhelming. This is not going to dominate your palate. Uh, this is also a good mild salami to break somebody into, you know, eating high quality charcuterie or salumi like this. Overall, this is a 10 out of 10 in my book. Okay, on to the next one. We have a classic sweet soprasada here. Again, nice and firm. The particle definition on that is absolutely gorgeous. The ingredients have a little coriander, chili flake, nutmeg, cinnamon, and of course, uh, pork and sea salt. All right, let's give this bad boy a taste. That, that was absolutely delicious. It's got really clean flavors. Uh, it's got a great coriander and nutmeg flavor on the back and little pops of chili flake. Overall, that's great. Really good soprasada right there. Okay, so next is the Induja salami here, but you know what? We're gonna save that until last because if I know anything about Induja, it is going to be extremely spicy. So we are going to go to the Steakhouse Beef Jerky, and I am so excited for this because as I stated earlier, I am a jerky fanatic. Let's take a look at the ingredients here. We have uh, beef, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, ketchup, garlic, and cider vinegar. Okay, I cannot wait to try this. Wow, look at that. It's nice and pliable. I'm gonna break off a little piece here. This looks like it's made from uh, top round or bottom round here. Mmm, wow. As I'm chewing, the flavor just keeps rolling out. It's like you're hydrating it in your mouth again. 
That's really phenomenal. So this has a perfect level of salt. Sometimes jerky can just be saltier than salt for some reason. And also the texture is really, really good. It's also not as hard as leather. It's also not as soft as the stuff you get at like the, the grocery store, or like the gas station. That's just like got some tenderized chemicals in there. No, this, this is high, high quality jerky. And I'm gonna be eating a ton of this. Okay, second to last, we got beef snack sticks. These look amazing. That is a beautifully made snack stick right there. This is uh, bigger than the average like Slim Jim that you would get. And I really like that. It feels nice and firm. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a bite here. It's got a nice pop to it. Really smooth flavor, really good texture. These would be phenomenal for any travel pack or road trip that you go on or even just a, a snack during the day. The flavor is outstanding. All right, last but not least, let's take a look at the Induja Salami here. So these are typically cured and dried in large format casings, as you can see. Uh, I have kind of brought this up to room temperature, so it is in fact spreadable now. And like I said, this is about 70% uh, fat and 30% meat, and that's what makes it nice and spreadable. So this will typically be eaten with like a bruschetta or some kind of crostini. So I uh, put it on a little bit of toast here and uh, we're gonna give it a go. <clears throat> right off the bat, it's a beautiful flavor of fat, nice and smooth texture. As I'm talking, the heat is going up. This has uh, Calabrian peppers. Woo! My God. It is just blowing out my mouth right now. <laughs> I don't typically eat spicy food, but I know people that would absolutely love this. I mean, my eyes are watering and I just had a little bite. Wow, the flavor is insane, but my mouth is on fire. All right, so let me just reiterate that this YouTube channel is dedicated to all things meat. I get tons of people emailing me all the time that want to know how they can cure their own meats and where they can find high quality products to understand what true craftsmanship is really about. Well, now you can find out for yourself and have Turchetti Salumaria, this gold right here, shipped right to your door. All the information you need is gonna be in the description below of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you're up on the most recently uploaded Salami Graham videos. Matt the Butcher, out.